Hey guys, Robert Hoffman, aka Rock Hoff, here to um, bring you the third installment of the vlog and the fifth um, entry on my 20% project for my E2000 class at UGA. Um, my project, if you haven't uh, noticed by now, I imagine by now you will, but I, it's just something I need to say over and over. Um, it's uh, my my project is I'm analyzing several different flash games from around the internet and uh, finding how they have educational value and how they can be applied to the classroom. Um, so in my first video, I enter, I did that. I introduced my project. I went into it in a little bit of depth and also kind of cover the written blog entries that won't be that are on my class blog and aren't on YouTube. But I'm, you're pretty much caught up if you watch the first video. Sorry about this. Um, my second project, or not project, my second video. Uh, was a kind of segue, a kind of segue into, you know, how games do have value, and I referenced um, a couple of people that we read about in this class. Um, the first person who I tried to reference, who I didn't know the name of at the time, but I've relearned his name. I've done my research now. He is, um, he goes by the name of Jim Gee. He um, goes around the country, and he is an educational consultant, and he has figured out how games uh, such as World of Warcraft can be applied to the real world. Um, and he, I tried to reference him in the first video, and I did it a good bit, and the proper bibliography was right there, Jim Gee, Jim Gee, Jim Gee. Um, if you have a chance, Google him. If you have any interest in the subject, or even slight interest, just Google him, watch some of his videos. It's very interesting, and it's great stuff in general. <coughs> Sorry. He's a... Uh, <coughs> Apologize. Oh, sorry. Uh, he's very popular and he's uh, very interesting to hear from. He ref and he references World of Warcraft and uh, I kind of took his thoughts and put him in the sense of another game I'm more familiar with is League of uh, League of Legends. I should probably say the full name League of Legends. Um, you know, and watch the first video if you want that tirade. But um, you know, it's he mentions the same stuff that I'm saying. You know. In games, you can find ways that how they apply to the real world. Uh, and what he mostly went on, uh, and I'll give you the brief synopsis, is you know how everybody has their specific role and how they have to be great at it, but they also have to have general ideas of everybody else's role. And in order to function well, if everybody has the same knowledge, it's not going to get far, and that correlates to the business world. Again, first video, watch it. Better. Better synopsis at seven minutes, you know, et cetera, et cetera. The second one was kind of a take off of that and how I had my personal vendetta against some of the things I see in chat uh, on games such as League and, I mean, in other games that I've played around the Internet and, and uh, you know, how, you know, it correlates to the real world and the professional life. Um, and in some senses, you know, how, the, how gaming helps incorporate people into the real world. And there is a game out there called Real Life, for, <laughs> for heaven's sake. I mean, you learn how to function in the real world via games sometimes. And there's nothing wrong with it. But, I mean, yes, you have to get out into the real world. I'm not saying sit here at your computer and learn everything straight away. No, um, I'm a social learner myself. I have to be around people. So I can't do that. But, I mean, I can learn things on the computer via games and then go out in the real world, try and apply them, and then get better at them. Or better at in more in-depth stuff, um, and that's kind of what the second person I'm pulling from is, and it, he's a guy who was focused on, who was featured on um, a a blog, or actually I don't really know what it's called, but it's a it's an internet kind of thing, and it's called Big Thinkers on Education. Um, the man I'm go I was referencing was Kurt Squire. He and his company are. Um, Figuring out, you know, much the same things of Jim Gee. You know, the games such as World of Warcraft, and in the first 14 seconds of his video, he references civilization. Um, and, you know, in those games, you know, that's how you learn some things. And that's how, you know, people learn and you learn things and how they can be applied to the real world and in the classroom. And he and his company are developing like a politically activist game where, you know, in the city he's in, I think, I believe it's Chicago. They have a um, lake that's having pollution issues, and so they've incorporated that into the game, 
and kind of mixed it up with an online thing. And also, I'm going to be referencing, you know, I'm a child of the 90s and I'm a millennial. But <laughs> for those of you who know the old TV show, Finding Carmen Sate, or Where in the World is Carmen San Diego, um, it's the same idea as that. You have no supernatural abilities, but you're a person and a citizen in this virtual world who goes out and, you know, you get to talk to experts and figure out what you can do and do all this stuff to try and fix the lake. And they're trying to keep it active and keep it going, you know, current issues and all that stuff. And it teaches kids about political involvement, doing research, what you can do. You're not completely have to go with the flow kind of thing. And, I mean, it he references that in his thing. And I'm um, there's several other videos that we've watched in, uh, in this class and read in articles on in this class that kind of reference that. So uh, for those of you who have made it this far, um, thank you. Uh, but this is, um, th I'm not completely blowing stuff out of the blue. I'm, well, I kind of am, I'll be honest. But I mean, my opinions are based on some other, uh, other people who have been pro other scholarly people's opinions as well. And I'm kind of taking them on my own and trying to, you know, do my own thing with them. Uh, so, Kurt Squire and Jim Gee, uh, big thinkers. Look them up. Great way, great way to learn some things and, you know, just, you know, have your mind blown in some senses. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, going on. Um, so, what I, she's asking, my professor has given us a list of questions, if you haven't figured out by now, that... I need the answer. And the next one she wants to know is, uh, this project is coming due in uh, 20 days. Uh, well, I guess 11 days because I'm recording this at 12.40 at night. But, um, or in the morning, depending on, you know, what, how you want me to reference that. But anyways, um, you know, it's due on the 22nd. So she wants to know how I'm going to present this. Um, so what I'm doing is, I mean, obviously I'm posting these on YouTube and I'm trying to spread the word as much as I can. And in class, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bring my own laptop, um, and I might show a few of these videos. I don't know, probably some of the better ones. I do apologize about the quality. I'm fresh to the new vlog thing and the YouTube sense, um, so I do apologize for the talking with the hands and the fidgeting with the beard. Uh, I'm still I'm still trying to fix some things here, um, but that's some incorporation of technology. And the other I mean the other thing is you know I'm going to let people play around on my computer on maybe some faux accounts on some of the other games that I've been referencing and, and the games that won't let you do that because it, make, it breaks user things. I'll just bring up my account at user uh, urban not user urban rivals. Sorry, Urban Rivals, there we go, is is like that. You can't make two accounts, you know, that way you can't trade between them and become freaking awesome. Um, <laughs> or freaking awesome unfairly, let me rephrase that. Or you can't become freaking awesome unfairly. So I'm probably going to just let people play around on my account for a little bit. But, um, you know, games such as those, you know, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to explain educational value while people maybe play a round or two in Urban Rivals and, you know, mess around on Neopets. Broke the surprise. I actually have another game that I was going to talk about. I'll get into that later, but yes, Neopets is, has educational value and I'll get into that later on uh, in a little bit. Um, and I'm also going to be talking about Monster MMORPG. Um, I've those accounts can very easily be deleted, so I might make a faux one and then delete it within an hour. Um, you know, but, you know, just let them play around, sit there, explain the educational value of it. Now, um, that is the business portion of this. Now, in the remainder, I'm new to YouTube, so if you haven't noticed, I have like six minutes left. But uh, I'm going to use a good bit of them to explain the next game. Yes, yes, I ruined the surprise. I have a third game. And I am actually ready to present it. It is Neopets. Um, again, I'm a millennial child. So I grew up with this game actually gaining a lot of ground when the internet was kind of becoming big, big and a household thing. Um, Neopets, for those of you who don't know, are, uh, is an online site where you go and you have a pet and you have to log on daily and take care of it. Um, and it's great for people who, you know, it's great for in two senses, in the educational classroom sense. Like, um, 
One is we've all seen the reference thing, and we've probably done something similar to it, of the baby egg, of the baby egg or the baby flower. Let's be honest about that. And let's be honest, when you drop the thing, it is messy. And, I mean, it's supposed to, I don't think you simulate dropping a baby. I hope to God you don't drop your baby. Please don't. But, um, you know, it's, it teaches you health and, you know, taking care of things. And, I mean, Sorry, uh, sorry, Dave. Uh, I have a dog myself. I just woke her up, so she's not happy with me. That's the death star. You go back to sleep, Dave. Don't kill me. Uh, but I have a dog myself, and, you know, it, a lot of things on that game apply to real life again, and, you know, and health stuff. But, I mean, in health classes, they're not going to be handing out puppies, because, let's be honest, nobody's going to want to get rid of them. I wouldn't. I'd uh, forget to bring it to class, take the F, and have a friend. <laughs> so... Oh, I phrased that wrong. Well, okay, never mind. <laughs> but or I'd have a dog, and you know. But I mean, on Neopets, you just make an account, and you have to take care of it, or else it will run away, or it will die. And it, that's basics of the game. Um, but also the other basics in the game is there's an economy in it, and whenever a game has an economy, such as Neopets, you have to learn math. Um, and you know, relating to, sorry, I'm scratching my dog here because she won't, she, I need to make up for waking her up apparently. Um, in a game such as Neopets, you know, when you have to take care of your animal, you have to learn math. And when there's a basic economy, math is exponential. And I mean, when you say you have a pet that you have to, sorry, you have a pet that you have to feed, let's say maybe three times a week. And the food costs ten. So therefore, you know, you use multiplication to figure out that's 30. Well, how much money do you have? So you subtract from your total. It's basic arithmetic. And, you know, it's health sciences, arithmetic, and, you know, real-life practications. This is Neopets, and this is how it can be applied to a classroom. You know, instances such as that, you know, um, my dog over here, I have to buy her food a good bit, and I do. And, I mean, I'm on a hourly I work at the university in one of the dining halls, and I have to figure out, you know, her food, how much do I need, how much can I get, and how, still have enough to feed myself, uh, you know, shots, all that stuff, you know, but it's math, it's math, and it's math. I don't like math, but it is math, <laughs> sorry, um, and, you know, it's taking care of something, so therefore, it's health class, it's all that stuff. And, but that's the basic premise of the game. The other premises of the game are also you have mini games. And I personally have not played this game. I have an account, I think, but I deleted it really quickly because I just didn't have time and I didn't wasn't all that enthusiastic about it when I created the account. Um, but um, I uh, in this game, you know, where was I going with that? I apologize. Uh, Oh, yeah, I've watched other people, sorry, I apologize, I, uh, <laughs> I've watched other people play this game, and I've seen a few of the mini games, and some of the mini games, a good bit of them are math as well, and, I mean, there's, I remember watching my friend play a game where you have to hit a bomb around with a frying pan, uh, I know I just got through the health class thing, and, you know, that doesn't really relate well, but trust me, it's on there, and it's fine, it, it's all fun and games, it's, like when your kid goes out and I threw pine cones as a kid at each other, it, you know, it's just, it happens. But anyways, uh, in this game, it, <laughs> in this game, what you do is, uh, you know, it's all timing, it's math, it's how, if I, let me hit this thing, it's reaction time, yes, but it's also how long do I have, so you, out is mu muscle memory, it's also figuring out mentally, let's see here, if the bomb explodes in nine seconds, five seconds have passed by, got four seconds we've hit it three times it, it, it gets into like complex math there or not complex there's no derivatives or anything like that but it's it's algebra <laughs> I can't do it straight off the top of my head right now but it's, it's something that people who play this game non-stop have gotten good at and they don't even realize it's math you can apply it but again basically in Neopets I realize I have 30 minutes so I'm going to wrap or 30 seconds I'm going to wrap this up Neopets is, can apply to science and math Science and math, and a lot, or health sciences and math. All right. Well, usual sign off. If you have any suggestions on flash games for me to play or analyze, please let me know. Comments below. Uh, comment below on YouTube. Comment on the blog. Uh, any advice is helpful. And so, all right. Ten seconds left. 
This is Robert, a.k.a. Robert, uh, Rock, Robert, a.k.a. Rockhoff, signing off.